stuck. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. My butt is stuck in this tree stump. Uh, uh. I'm stuck in a hollowed out tree stump with my butt facing towards the air. Uh, great job, Benjamin. You managed to get your butt stuck in a tree trunk. Uh. Oh, if it was a full moon, I'm going to be getting out of here. It's going to be a long couple hours. Wait, if I transform, do I die? Wood's pretty hard. Mm. Uh, oh, I hear someone approaching. Um, hmm. Who's coming? Uh, hello? Uh, don't do anything with my um, lower half. I... Uh, if you, uh, do, uh, can you help me? Not that I need it or anything. It just would be nice. Wait, don't go. Please, don't leave me. I actually need help to get out. I know you see a wolf tail, but but, but please. I, I need help. If you could help me, I... Uh-huh. Mm, you're gonna pull my hips. Wait, wait, um, that's lewd. Uh, isn't there uh, any anything else? There's nothing to break the trunk? No. Mm, okay. I'll push from inside here and you pull from outside there. Uh, don't, please be careful of my tail though. It's sensitive. Okay. And... Uh, Three, two, one. Uh, 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 hey, uh, thank you. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, where did you go? Hello? Um, where did that human? Oh, I'm sitting on you. Uh, let me get off. Huh? I am so sorry. Even though you probably liked it, pervert. Uh, thank you, though, for um, helping me out of that uh, tree trunk. <laughs> I was trying to get this squirrel, and then um, <clears throat> um, the squirrel crawled out of a tiny hole, but I was stuck. It threw an acorn at my butt. Oh, I hate those squirrels. Oh no, um, it's, I'm not hurt or anything. I'm a strong werewolf. <laughs> uh, couldn't you tell with the tail, uh, you know, the, no, the ears? You're cute! Uh, I am not cute. I'm fearsome. I'm a werewolf. I could rip out your jugular if I wanted. It's just rude to do that to people who helped you. <clears throat> Um, although, uh, I am curious. Not that I care or anything, but uh, what's your name? Oh, okay. Uh, that's a, uh, nice or interesting name. Uh, mine is Benjamin. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Benjamin the werewolf. <laughs> uh, but you should probably go home. I appreciate your help and all, but you know you could probably die out here, right? Werewolves are not the only thing out here. You got were-squirrels, which, ugh, I hate those things. They give me the heebie-jeebies. It's like, it's wrong. Anyway, um, we also have uh, vampires out here. Huh? Do I hate vampires? Uh, no. Uh, what would make you think that? I mean, they're not pleasant to be around, kind of creepy, and make me feel very uncomfortable, but I have no beef with them. They're free to do as they wish. Hmm. Although, it is turning nighttime. Hmm. Oh. 
I'm not doing this because I like you, but if you tried to go home now, you would more than likely meet an unfortunate end. <sighs> You're coming home with me. No, I don't want to hear it. You're coming home with me. Yeah, you are. Look, I'm not doing this because I like you. I'm doing this so I don't have your blood on my hands. And you decided to go into a monster-infested forest. Didn't you read any of the signs? They're posted in your human settlement, do you guys call them? Village? I think they're called villages. At least I was told by the druid. The humans at villages. Uh-huh. A city? I don't quite understand what that is. But... You need to come home with me. At least for now. Um, but so you don't, you know, get horribly murdered. <laughs> I'm just doing this so you don't die, okay? I don't want your blood on my hands when I could have done something. Come with me. No, you're coming with me. Look, it's either I force you to come, or I chase you down and take you to come with me. Oh, we're playing the running game. Great. <laughs> uh, come here, you. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Didn't expect me to catch you so easily, huh? Did you forget what I said earlier? I'm aware... Did you just boop my nose? No, booping the... I Stop booping my... How many times are you going to boop my... Stop booping my nose. I am not Are you petting me? Oh, you're impossible. I hear I have my fangs bared out and you're just petting me. Could you be any more rude? You don't just pet somebody. Uh, would you like it if I came into your house one day and, and I pet you? That wouldn't be nice, would it? What? You would like that? You're weird. Uh, but whatever. Come with me. Like I said, I'm still letting you stay in my house for the night. In the morning, I'll escort you to the end of the forest and you can go frolic in your cities. Uh, come along. Say, though, um, what made you come out here in the forest while we're on the way there? <laughs> oh. Uh. Your house get burned down? That's some. I. Uh. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry that happened. You were being bullied. Hmm. Sorry that happened as well. But. Coming into the forest wasn't the greatest of plans. You're lucky, well, you found me, technically, <laughs> and lodged in that stump. Also, take this as me returning the favor. You got me out of the stump, so I didn't have to wait several hours, so I might as well let you stay at my house for the night. Or, I say house, it's a cave, but it's a nice cave. <laughs> uh, why don't I have a cabin or something? Look, this forest is protected by a druid. You dare to cut down one of her trees? <laughs> She'll have more than words to say to you. So I'd recommend not touching this place. Have you ever wondered why humans don't come here? Why there's signs? Why you're not allowed to cut down trees or take things from this forest? It's because of the druid. The druid has a no-human policy. And, uh, here you are. Oh yeah, she would most definitely kill you without a hesitant, without a second of hesitation. <laughs> uh, we're very lucky she didn't stop by today. If she did, well, let's just say you would be feeding the foxes. <laughs> she would have thrown you to the wolves, so to speak. <laughs> no pun, in actually, pun intended. <laughs> anyway... Here we are. Hmm. Huh? You want to stay with me? 
Uh, I don't know about that. You run the risk of being murdered every single day. You sure you want to take that chance? I mean, I could train you and all. I could even turn you if you wanted me to. But... It's not super fun to be forced into a transformation every night. <laughs> Granted, I don't have to worry about that because I'm a true blood. But you would be a half blood. Meaning every time there's a full moon, you would transform. And if you turned anybody, ooh, I would be in big trouble. Especially by the, my ex clan members. Mm hmm. Ex clan? Oh, uh, every werewolf when they're turned is part of a clan. And in my clan, or pack, whatever you prefer to call it, I call them clans because we fuse together, so clans. But in our clan, um, I was the leader for a short time. I had a human uh, capture and let go policy, kind of like fish. You capture them, scare them a little bit, and then send them on their way. But I was defeated by my brother. He hated humans. Hated them. He, he's killed quite a few. And... Last time, I got in his way. I didn't want him to kill her. I really didn't. But he didn't listen to me. He smacked me out of the way. His claws digging into me. And he killed her. So, I let him be Alpha. I didn't want to be part of that. That's not being defeated. Of course it is. I didn't stand my ground. I was the Alpha, but I let it get taken from me. And I moved away from the clan. Normally, you would defeat a Alpha in battle, but if an Alpha steps down, then the most powerful steps up. And that would be my brother. Ruler of the half-breeds. Of course, there's some full-bloods, but the majority of clans are full of half-breeds. Uh, True-bloods are very rare and not very common. Well, there's a multitude of factors. A full-blood can only happen when a child is born from a full-blood and another full-blood. There's a chance of the half-blood, but it's very low chance. And, well, it could also result in horrible malfunctions? What's the word? I think the word is disabilities. Because you're breeding with a different species, technically, because humans in the blood, you know? Well, I look like a human, that's just my form. My true form is the wolf form. I can morph into a human void form, but my true form is human. I mean, wolf. You know? I don't know why I'm discussing this with you. It's not like we're ever going to do it. <laughs> That'd be super perverted. And kind of gross. Oh, uh, we're here. <laughs> uh, hmm. How? Oh, I may have forgotten my key. Uh, just give me a minute. When I put it under the mat? No. Uh, was it under this pot? <sighs> yes, I have a giant door in front of my cave. Uh, I made it out of rocks. Hmm. Not like you would know anything about door construction. Huh? The, the door doesn't need a key because it's just a... Uh, right. Uh, I knew that. Um, uh, come in. Come in. Uh, just... Give me a minute, and I'll um, start a fire. Yeah, the, if you look up, there's a spot for the plume of smoke to go through. You never want to start a fire in a cave unless you have a hole in it for it to go out. Otherwise, you'll smoke yourself out of the cave. <laughs> now, let me... There we go. Fire. All right. Where's the beds? Uh... You see, the thing about being a werewolf is we never really get cold. I'll just transfer into my wolf form. Although, that, I guess that is a point. You need something to lay on. Hmm. What? You want to cuddle? Uh, uh, huh? About my 
werewolf form? Well, uh, there's a common uh, misconception there. Uh, it's just a bigger wolf. It's not exactly a were big furry werewolf, you know. <laughs> it's just a bigger wolf. You want me to transform into it? Uh, okay. But I'm not cuddling you. I'm just showing you, okay? Hmm. Uh, There, I showed you my wolf form. Huh. I'm fine, it's just a little painful. You get used to it after a while. <laughs> All your bones switching into different places and such. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> you want me to turn you? Why do you want me to turn you? Uh huh? There's another thing you didn't tell me. What's that? You reject humanity. Uh, look. Are, do you know what you have to do once you become a werewolf? What it's like? You're rejected by everybody. Nobody really wants to be with you besides other werewolves. And I would technically be your... Your maker. So I would have... Kind of parental, but more of like older brother kind of thing. Uh, mm, I could turn you. Th that is true, but there's a risk. If I mess this up, you could die. Your body, your bones can melt in a way that's not, not supposed to go. Your first transformation will be vital and I'll have to watch over you. Uh, let me explain some things, okay, dummy? One, all your bones would shift, all right? And that includes your mouth. And now, now picture your teeth getting rearranged. Now picture that all over your body as your jaw pops out and your skull dents forward and your legs break into one another and your hind legs fuse. Okay, that's what it's like. It's extremely painful, but it is also freeing at the same time. It's like nature's calling to you in a sort of way. It's like you've become one with the earth, almost, when you're in your wolf form. But you have to ignore it. You have to ignore the beast to keep your thought. Thoughts. I'll guide you through it, of course. If you're sure about the end of this. And and the worst thing about it, even werewolves reject you for being a half-blood, for not being a full-blood. Yeah, you wouldn't be a full-blood, you'd be a half-blood, which means, and all that means is you have less control over your full wolf form, it's harder to control. That, and uh, you're forced to transform during full moons where I can resist it. Or not do it at all. What time of the month is it? It's almost time for a full moon. It's about a week away. Are you absolutely sure this is what you want? There's no going back. There's no cure. Once you're a werewolf, there's no turning back. If you turn into this and you want to back out, the only way out is death. Okay, how do I need to turn you? Simple. All I've got to do is turn into my full-on wolf form again. And then I'm going to maul you a little bit. <laughs> Just your arm. Once I do that, once my saliva is fully drenched into your bloodstream, 
it's going to uh, start attacking your cells. When it does that, it's going to slowly replace your white blood cells with mine and making you a half-blood. The difference between a half-blood and a full-blood, though, is uh, our blood. <laughs> it's, um, it's more potent than yours. We have more of it. Hence why we can resist it. Whereas you have less blood, so it makes it a lot harder to resist. <clears throat> Especially after transforming. Okay. Are you ready? Because when I do this, there's no turning back. Final chance. I'm going to count you down, and if you don't, I'm going to transform and bite you. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Because this is going to hurt. <sighs> your arm fresh blood pooling everywhere I hope this is what you wanted because there's no way to take it back now unless you want to chop off your arm <sighs> okay now you have to go to sleep which granted I think you're gonna fall asleep anyway so weak don't worry though you'll be much stronger tomorrow Granted, you'll feel like you got kicked in the head by a giant truck, but we'll work through it together. Now I'm your brother, or your maker. Interesting. Well, I'm not doing this because I'm your maker, but since you don't have fur, come rest against me. That's right, lay against me. Feel the warmth my body gives you. Let it feel natural. That's right. To come to sleep. Little pup.